Hello and welcome to Visual Radio Arts, the extra bit in the green room. I'm backstage with my style, fresh from Bristol, to perform for you tonight. But yeah, we've got a few moments together to find out a bit more about my style. I don't know that much. So here we are, probing into the background and the formation of your band. Tell me, who are you? And tell us about your band. I'm Mac. And uh, this is Talia. Hi, Talia. And uh, yeah, basically, we describe ourselves, or we say we're influenced by kind of a dub, trip hop, hip hop sound. Kind of don't really put ourselves in a genre, but you know, we just make our make our music. Yeah, we kind of just go with the flow and see what happens. Um, I think we started working together about three years ago. Yeah. And um, we started working together by doing a cover. Our mate of ours recommended us to do that song together and when we started singing it just for fun, um, everyone got excited of how our voices match and all of this and we enjoyed it as well. So we started doing that and then slowly moved on to my, making original music. Mac already had quite a lot of original music. So we started combining my voice into his songs and writing some new stuff together. And, and you know, three years later, we've got our live set and quite a lot of original music and yeah. You just made it sound really easy. I've got to <laughs> ask. Because yeah. I have heard them uh, sound checking and they do sound like it. it's really easy. They've, is it because they're young? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, what I wanted to know, what was that cover song? Who was it? And was it a song, was it a, an artist you both knew already or? Yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know Justin Mazuka until we did that song. No, I, I was, that about was the first cover. Yes, that you did The together. first cover that we did together. That yeah. was Justin Mazuko. Be back soon. Yeah, I, I thought it might have been the Five Men Army. Oh, uh, maybe. Massive attack. I, I don't. I'm really. No, nah, you are right. I think You're I'm right. right. <laughs> yeah. So it was this kind of bluesy song. Um, I didn't hear it before until then, and we really, I really enjoyed singing and it. Did you both know the words already? No. no, no, not really. He just literally put it on and just went like, "Oh, you guys should really do this song together." And uh, we were like, yeah, it's a cool song, all right, let's try it. And then we kind of put the lyrics on, like, played the chords on the guitar. My mate was joining him as well. And it was just quite a lot of fun to just jam it out. And um, about a few months later, we had our first gig doing that and a couple of other tracks and covers and some originals. In Bristol, in front of your mates. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fab. And everyone loved it. And it was just... Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Yeah. I was reading you've played in quite a few venues in Bristol. Mm. Some very nice venues. Uh, what's your what's your standout gig? Your favourite gig? Do you think? Um, my favourite gig. Probably O2 Academy. Yeah, that was that was my favourite one. It's just so out. Of, you know, it's just completely out there. It's, it's something else. You know, after performing in the basement of the Louisiana in our first gig and then going to the O2, it's a, it's quite a big difference. So that yeah. was a lot of fun. It's easier with a it bigger is crowd <laughs> and with a bigger sound. It actually and helps. a pay, PA system where mm. you get absolutely everything you want. Oh, yeah, yeah. amazing! And, and, go, and, oh. and, and the visuals at the background. It's just, it puts you in a whole other light, and you're just there, like, yeah, I'm gonna go for it because it's already there. It's so big as it is. Like. Just the two of you on that massive yeah, stage. Yeah, no, it's great fun. <laughs> yeah, I was so looking at the map like, like where are you? Like, <laughs> it's so far away. Oh, that's great. And who are you playing with then? Um, it was for a thing called Freedom of Mind yeah, Festival, yeah, yeah, and it was yeah. an opening party for that festival um, yeah, about so it was mental health charity. issues. But um, it was a few selected artists, so we played with a band called The Rupees, who were headlining. Mm -hmm. were more rock. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe them actually. It was quite, yeah, really and a few good. other local um, Bristol bands, but it yeah. was all local talent, like young. Freedom of Mind talent. is the Freedom of Mind Festival. So it's it's all about. Raising awareness for Raising, mental yeah, health for mental issues. health issues, and um, it's this amazing girl called Ella, and she started it. She's 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 like eighteen or something. She's amazing, and um, she came to us and, and asked us if we want to get involved. And of course, like, accept the fact that it's for a good cause. And I'm re I really believe that it should be more, you know, it's a really important subject. Um, you know, we got the opportunity to be on the O2 stage, which was amazing fun. So yeah. and we were very very lucky. Yeah, you're. Uh Movie is slightly linked, isn't it? Lyrics. Who write, Who writes the lyrics? Right. So he's the I'll mind. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. the mind. Yeah. For the lyrics, but yeah. No, yeah, no. Really good. It comes out of them. Honestly, I have no idea how he does it. 
I, I was listening to the song I've liked that I've just flicked through was Wait Waiting. Oh, something about a bus. Oh, catch, oh, catching, catching a bus. bus. Catching a bus. What's that about? So this, that, was like a, that. that was a really early track that we'd done. It was actually, um, I actually wrote the lyrics while I was interrailing in Europe. Um, and I was on a train on the way back from a festival called Outlook. And um, yeah, it was just one of those lots of long train journeys and uh, just headphones in writing lyrics. But basically, I'm trying to think of the lyrics now. Um, but, um, yeah. You're going to play that one tonight. Yeah, we're going to play you? it tonight. Yeah, so, you're so gonna listen hear to it. the lyrics. And yeah. yeah. Check it out. Yeah, lovely. It's, it's funny yeah, it's you say that, fun. actually, because um, I always say how this is one of my favourite tracks, and it's actually not one of your favourites at all. And I always insist that it's such a good track. And I'm so happy every time someone comes and say they love that track, because I just go in Mac and I just like, oh, what a surprise. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. For me, it was just one of the earlier things I wrote and for me I feel like I've progressed like a lot more so yeah you know, the, so yeah, for that me one it's, just came it's out old, didn't it that was a very lyric. natural yeah. simple and your voice sounds gorgeous on it oh thank really you really lovely I really love playing it so yeah see that that comes across mm -hmm. the joy of the joy of playing what other did you do any political lyrics or they're all meaningful thoughtful songs yeah you know I think they're just con conscious lyrics of what's going on with ourselves the world and people's attitudes towards that. But, you know, yeah. they, they vary, but just listen listen to the tracks and find yeah, out for yourself. Yeah. They, they all have a few different meanings that you can take away from them, so. Yeah, that's nice. For someone. It's, I was going to say listen, that's always good advice, but I do <laughs> find myself, I'll only be able to focus on, I can't, if I either listen to the lyrics, I'm not listening to what's going on with the yeah. bass, and I end up automatically, because I like playing yeah. bass, I follow the track that, Oh, I've got a creaky chair, sorry yeah. ladies and no. <laughs> um, Yes, I'm, I will listen, people. We'll see if we can check out the lyrics. It's, yes, it's worth it. It is, it is really good. So where did you meet? Because I know you're from Israel, aren't you? Yes. So um, I moved here when I was 17. Um, I did one year in college and then when I went to level three, Mac joined in. So that's where we met. And um, yeah, for, for a good year, he was doing his own thing. I was doing my own thing, obviously studying and working and all of that. Um, and like I said, since that cover, we just kind of started merging into kind of one project. Um, yeah, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that happened. Did you, you know? come over to study? No. So my dad is English. Um, my mum is Israeli. And, um, it's, you know, it's not an amazing situation there always. I mean, it's a beautiful country and it's got amazing things about it. But it's also quite hard to kind of focus on what you want to do. And also, I never really felt like English, um, Hebrew is what I kind of want to sing in. I never really connected to that kind of style and, and singing in Hebrew. So for me to move here and get my English sorted and, and being able to sing in English and have my accent a bit nicer and all of that was a really important, quite a big deal. So so you grew up bilingual? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, was just, I think to think to think that, but my dad tried, but I wasn't really... He would he would speak to me in English, but I would always reply in Hebrew. I was quite lazy about it. But you it. did pick up English. That's well, yeah, not a yeah. When I got here, I was a bit like, whoa, like the accent, like that was a bit shocking. It was not. Yeah, I was like, this is not <laughs> what I expected. Like that's not English where I come from. But you get used to it. Yeah, and you'll you'll develop a Somerset twang soon enough. Yeah. Yeah. It won't be sometimes long. it comes <laughs> out. Sometimes it just comes out, and it's like, whoa. So you must be tempted to go and visit. I did, I have actually been to Israel once. We went, we went last year, just for a really short trip. Um, but I'd recommend it to anyone. It's, um, I'd, it, even though spending a couple of years with Talia, um, I still didn't know what to expect, even though I've been fed lots of different stories. And it's, um, it's a real beautiful place. And um, it's definitely my, my, worth checking place, out. Yeah. And it's, um, it's got a bit of everything from the really old cities to super modern Tel Aviv and party and nightlife, but um, yeah, we could definitely check it out yeah, if you get no, a chance. It's a great place for a holiday. Froome's got a huge uh, <laughs> Friends of Palestine group, oh, Froome right, Friends yeah. of Palestine, so that's what I know about Israel. Mm. No, yeah. it is, it's a really cool place to go and visit. Do you sing in Hebrew? Have you that's tried, right. are there any words that you think, oh, that would fit really uh, well? It Honestly, no. Not not since we've done our stuff. I never really tried doing that. I mean, back back in Israel when I used to when I lived there, I was in a lot of different projects. I was in school, of course, and I um, used to be on, on TV. Musical product. 
pro- yeah. projects. Yeah, because my dad is a producer, so most of my childhood I was in studios anyway. My mom is a singer as well, so it was, you know, in the family, so it was around me since I can remember. But I was in kids' bands and festivals and a little bit of TV and radio and stuff like that, but it was always in Hebrew, and like I said, it wasn't appealing to me. I wasn't, like, drawn to it. Yeah. I didn't want to do it as much as I want to do this. So I'm really happy that... The way it yeah, you've got this the opportunity. It it yeah. sounds great. And do you? Um, are you from a musical family? Are you steeped no. in? <laughs> no, I'm not. That's not true. Um, actually, my my younger sister, um, she's she's really good at singing. She was take. She yeah, she still is taking it quite seriously. Actually, will she be watching tonight? Yeah, she, she will be, be watching actually. this interview. Yeah, yeah. She knows, <laughs> do you she want knows. to say hello? <laughs> oh well, we're getting close to the moment where you have a few moments to go to the loo and do your hair and get ready, and then uh, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to this. We're going to be hearing you. my style. I'm Alex Hart. I forgot to say um, thank you to Phil and and Maggie for putting this together. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for having us.